everyone, welcome to Slow Food Scotland supporters and to Slow Food around the world. My name is Wendy Barry and I publish Scottish Food Guide and Scottish Cheese Trail and I'm a Cook's Alliance member. And today we're going to talk about Shetland sheep. Here they are, very bonny sheep, lots of different colours of wool and they taste absolutely delicious. The wools, as I say, are as famous as in fact the sheep themselves and the Shetlanders make the most beautiful uh, combinations with the different yarns from the sheep. So that's equally successful. If you're breeding sheep, you can get the meat and you can get the wool. So here we have some Shetland sheep today and we have two Ark of Taste producers of it in Scotland. We have Richard Briggs and we have um, Aradale Farm, which is the Anson family with uh, Jakob and Ronnie. And both these producers give us fantastic Shetland lamb, hogget and mutton. So the lamb is under a year old, the hogget is one to two years and the mutton is over two years. And in fact, it can be five years, six years. We have eaten 19 year old mutton. So there was no end to how old the mutton can be. It was absolutely delicious. But generally the mutton is three to five years. So this is what we're using today. It's racks. And you can see that they're maybe smaller than you might see in your average supermarket. Wash your mouth out with soap, Wendy. And uh, butcher shops. But don't think about the kilos. Think about the flavours because you're getting the most incredible flavours with rare breeds. The rare breed sheep we have in Scotland on the Ark of Taste are all short-tailed sheep. Um, many from thousands of years old and all small bones, small carcasses, but fantastic flavour. And they lamb very easily. They, they are natural mothers, so they can live out in the open and they can enjoy the food and the seasoning from the landscape they're in, the terroir. They're not eating um, commercial feed at any time. So here we have, this is what we're going to use today. Now, when it's a young cut, like a lamb, you can cook it in a short time, grilling, for example, barbecuing. But I do like slow cooking the old breeds. I like to braise them, for example, because you get so many flavours. And afterwards, the bones, when you're cooking them on the bone, the bones make great stock for soup. If you're skimming off any fat, you can roast potatoes in them. Any leftovers, you can do stovies. So you get so much more than just buying a couple of ch chops. And indeed, the producers will sell you a whole sheep. And of course, meat freezes perfectly. You would not know. So what I've done with this is I've browned it in the pan with a little bit of summer harvest. And once you've got some colour, add some liquid. Now, you, it can literally be some water. Or you can use a lovely craft beer like Ovenston. Um, you can add a few fresh garlic leaves when they're in season, or you could add some other herbs that you particularly like, but don't overdo it. The flavour of your lamb is the winner. So you don't need to smother it in lots of heavy spices. That would, that would really spoil it. We add some seasonal vegetables and then take out the lamb after about an hour and a half. It can be longer if that doesn't suit you. And when you're going to just about eat, uh, keep the lamb in tinfoil in a warm place and put on some little dumplings on top of your juices. Now these are made with the uh, Scotland the Bread Golden Drop Flour. It's another Arc of Taste product. And when you're using a wholemeal flour for your dumplings, add a little bit more baking powder. So that amount of dumplings was 75 grams of flour and a couple of teaspoons of baking powder. Uh, mix, season and mix together with some milk. Pop them on the top for the last 10 minutes and they simmer and they cook and you don't need to peel potatoes that day. So we have our lamb racks, our dumplings, some root vegetables, a little bit of my chive butter because we've had a glut of chives so I had to do something with them all so chive butter in there. Um, some Isle of Skye sea salt, also Arc of Taste, uh, a twist of pepper and there it is, very simple but absolutely delicious. And all I would add at the end is to serve it with some homemade mint sauce. So I've got some muscovado sugar in here, a lovely dark sugar, and some of Sam's Orkney vinegar with bear. Now the bear is another Ark of Taste product, a, a, a barley grain that grows on Orkney. So a little bit of his, I'm just topping this one up, a little bit of his lovely bear vinegar. And we have some of our own mint here we harvested uh, um, last year. And this is wild water mint. And if you've got a nice broad bowl, you can just scrunch it straight in. And then about 
half an hour or so that will have just hydrated nicely and you've got a delicious homemade mint sauce to go with your lamb. So we have our mint sauce and we have Shetland lamb with herby dumplings and roots. Enjoy. Thank you.